You remember the Philips Fidelio soundbar, right? It was a hit because it was the only device that lets you detach the surround speakers and go truly wireless. Well, now Philips has created this, the Fidelio E5, and it's a lot like that soundbar because it's got those detachable surround speakers, but it's more of a component style surround system. Let's take a closer look. We've had the E5 at our Portland offices all day, which has given us a chance to listen to it outside of the hustle and bustle of the show floor at CES. So I love that the top of the speaker has this real cedar wood. It's a soft cedar, then over that is a real leather handle. I mean, it's you can smell it. <laughs> it's great. But not only is it beautiful, but it's also practical. You just lift it off the top of the speaker and go place it wherever you need it as a surround speaker. But more than that, it can also be sort of a multi-room audio system. You can just take this into another room, it's wireless up to about 60 feet, maybe take it outside and you've got portable music anywhere you need to go. And this is pretty clever. Philips has designed it so you can't accidentally put the wrong speaker on. It just won't sit. You've got to match left to left, otherwise it won't fit. And one of the things that really makes this speaker stand out is this soft cashmere covering. I guess this wasn't just for looks, it's also acoustically transparent, and I think it matches well with the wood and the leather up top. This is the left speaker, and it's got all of the controls on it. Here you can see some of the onboard controls for volume and Bluetooth and whatnot. Up here is an NFC pairing tab, so if you've got a device with NFC, you just tap and you're paired up via Bluetooth. Down here we've got two HDMI inputs and an HDMI out with ARC, so if you've got an ARC compliant TV, that's just one cable connection. There's also optical and coaxial digital input and an analog input here. This funky little port here is for a proprietary cable that connects the left and the right hand speaker. And then you've got the wireless subwoofer. It's got the same soft cedar on top, and then again with the cashmere around it. And you could hide it, but it looks good enough that it can sit in the room. So I've gotten about an hour or so of listening time in with this system, and I'm plenty impressed. First thing I noticed was that it didn't have a super screeching treble, but uh, enough to be detailed and sparkly. I think it's going to sound really great for movies, but it was doing very well with music. And the subwoofer definitely adds plenty of punch down below. It's a very big, full sounding system. And I like the fact that you can separate the speakers as much as you want and get a big, nice, wide stereo feel. So let's talk about price. We're looking at about $700 for this system, which is on the expensive side. I mean, you can put to yourself together a component speaker system with an actual AV receiver for something like that. But then think about all the wires and all the connections and the components. This is a fully self-contained system and I think that you're going to pay a little bit extra but you're going to get that super convenience.